Hey guys, the 90s are back on What's Trending and just in time for a Friday afternoon when no one on the internet is watching videos. But hey, at least my large knowledge base of 90s references is finally, finally going to be useful. Goodbye Ariana Grande jokes, hello Primitive Radio Gods jokes. Hey, it's Lon, and former Stone Temple Pilots frontman Scott Weiland is back with a new band called The Wildabouts. But before you get too excited, check out this footage of them playing STP's classic Vaseline in Texas on Tuesday night. Now, Wyland, who has famously struggled for years with a variety of addictions, including alcohol, cocaine, and heroin, is insisting that he's not on drugs during this performance. Uh, a PR rep talked to TMZ and said that this was a, quote, perfect storm of him being tired and having a couple of drinks before the show. They're also saying that his earpiece that lets him hear his own voice was not working, so he couldn't really hear himself over the band, which is what caused him to be a little bit off or a lot bit off. I almost think that you would want people to think that you are high, because it's either like, well, he's a little bit messed up and that's why it doesn't sound good, or he's just like brutally unable to perform Vaseline anymore. And that one is really one of the one of the Stone Temple Pilot songs you're gonna wanna hear. You're gonna hear that one, you're gonna wanna hear Plush, you're gonna wanna hear Interstate Love Song. I love that I'm able to make a What's Trending video at this amount of 90 song references. I'm gonna just talk about Better Than Ezra's Good here just for a while, just to make me feel better. The Wildabouts are playing again tonight in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, so we'll get another chance to hear if this was a one-off, he was just having a bad night, or if it's, uh, you know, gonna be sort of the way things are for Scott Weiland and the Wildabouts. Also, his rep actually did tell TMZ they've overnighted him earbuds to meet him down there for the show, so that at least won't be a problem anymore. And now for an appropriately 90s palate cleanser. Hootie and the Assorted Blowfish showed up and reunited last night on David Letterman to perform their 90s classic, Hold My Hand. Cause I got a hand for you Cause I wanna run with you See kids, back in the 90s, there was this kind of music called adult contemporary. It was for slightly older people who still like rock music, but didn't want it to be particularly hard-edged or in their face. These people at this point are so old, they don't really listen to regular music on the radio, but limit it pretty much to the NCIS uh, Los Angeles theme song. Pretty catchy, I mean, I'd like to hear what Scott Weiland could do with it. Let's check out some comments. Cara Forte says, personally, I think it's a refreshing take on an old classic. This is a comment on the Scott Weiland video, gang. I triple check, I'm not sure she knows what the word refreshing means. Kenny McNephilim Craig, and I'd like to point out that this guy's stated nickname is McNephilim. You know he gave himself that one. Uh, he says, ouch, this will be the worst earworm yet. Well, Kenny definitely doesn't know what the phrase earworm means. It means a song that's so catchy, it gets stuck in your ear and plays out there for days. Not a bad song. So a good example would be, say, better than Ezra's good. Duke Lemoyne says, he's screwing with the audience. He doesn't want to be there, so he's going out of his way to give a bad performance. Oh, that, that's Scott Weiland. What a cut up. Well, he's a real prankster. So what do you guys think? Was this maybe just a bad night? Would you go check out the Wildabouts when they come through your town? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to What's Trending for lots more of this, and click to our other video so you can see an old man punch a bear in the face. Well, well he, he talks about, he talks about punching a bear in the face. He, he is probably lying, but click on it anyway.